Hello friends, good evening. So if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping in. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And I so very much appreciate the support while I am growing this channel. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Tonight, I have two tumblers for you. These turned out so adorable. So this is the Hydro Dip with acrylic paint and we use spray paint on these. So the video that's gonna follow, my husband and I worked on these together and the video that's gonna follow, we're going to show you as we're attempting the Hydro Dip and you know a couple lessons that we learned and then when they afterwards because there was some paint that we realized wasn't a good idea and then also um my husband's gonna wet sand them after to show you how to get a nice smooth finish and these turned out incredible incredible they're so just smooth and this right here is one super, super, super thin coat of epoxy. Like, I kid you not, this is maybe only three cc's of epoxy on this. And same with this one. These just honestly turned out absolutely incredible. I am super impressed by these. And the other thing is the decals on these. Again, these are the wall decals from the Dollar Tree. Also super impressed by these wall decals. And the thing that are that's so nice about these wall decals that they're a good size and because they are more of a vinyl than a sticker they go on super nice and they just cover amazingly with epoxy so these ones came from this is the set that they came from so this one is the pets secret life of pets 2 I was going to put this guy on there, but he was a little bit big. But anyways, and then this one is like a Marvel Comics is where I took Spider-Man from. So, so listen, I'm really happy with this technique, really happy with how these tumblers turned out. They are done other than the fact that I'll be putting a name down here and one more light coat of epoxy and again this one will also get a name and a light coat of epoxy but these things are beautiful if I weren't putting a name on them then and I just like they are now like they would be absolutely perfect they honestly could go with this super light coat of epoxy and be done it's it's incredible. They're beautiful. So the other thing is um, my husband and I are going to do another video. I think we're going to start it tomorrow night and then we'll let it dry overnight and then do the epoxy the next day. But um, because we're actually going to, he wants to try with a different type of paint. So, um, so watch for that. And then again, these just turned out absolutely incredible and video is to come. Listen, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. Thank you so much to everybody who has supported the channel. I can't believe that I have hit the 400 mark. That is is incredible and it makes me so very happy. I appreciate it so much. So listen, you guys have a blessed 
and beautiful rest of the night. And I'll see you again soon. Bye. All right, and before we get into the video, I just want to apologize ahead of time for the extra commentary. However, I couldn't really go in and like clean that up because I was afraid that you may possibly miss something that is important for doing the cup or a lesson learned. So initially, I was the one that sprayed and dipped the cup. You can see I did not use nearly enough paint. So we go through and try several different ways and amounts and you'll see what works really good. Okay, but I just wanted to take a minute to apologize for the extra commentary. And also, I know that my husband speaks very softly. This would be why I call him Mumbles. So, anyways, it's some really good information though if you like these hydro dipped cups. All right, thanks. So, we're gonna do our hydro dipping and we're going to do one on white and then one on like this ombre. However, we sanded it to make it a little bit more smooth. So, some of the steel the metal tumblers coming through and then we have our little footballs oh that came out didn't work well all right so from dollar tree handy dandy what is that like a lawn dart Scott? yeah or something like that like a football like a, lawn dart yeah something. that's ever replaced the jerks anyways okay so all right so we're, we gotta go kind of quick we're gonna put our colors And nothing in that one. The gold had nothing in it. Yeah, that was a quitter. I thought that was going to happen. And, all right. So, Ooh. oh, geez. Ready? Yep. All right, so, hope this isn't going to slow down. And we didn't get too much color. Let's do it again. Need more paint? Yep. All right. Some more paint. Now we're talking. All right, try to get ready. So the paint has to go in a specific way? Yeah, like if you, if you hold the can a certain way, if you held it like this, it'll just blow air out. It'll look like it's painting, but it's not. Does it need to go in the water a certain way? No, as long as you're not like this. But a good amount of paint. If you go like this, it'll stay on the top. If you go like that, it'll go down in the water a little bit. Okay. Yeah, you gotta have a layer on there, though, a thick layer. When you go down and come up, you have to like turn it, right? Yeah, you gotta go down, go straight down, and then swirl it on the way up. Oh yeah, I totally didn't put enough paint. Yeah, you gotta have like it's gotta be floating on the top of it, like a layer of it. Shed, shed, you see it all up there? Yeah. Colors? Yeah. There it goes. That one didn't come out before. Okay. White. Do the white cut. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you definitely did a better job than I did. I need more paint though. I think we need more paint. Mm -hmm. I have to load it up. Do you have any more paint? Hmm? Any more paint than that? Okay, we'll do more paint. Okay.
me the paint too. This two X paint. It's got primer mixed with paint. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's not just paint. The black really gets in there nice. You can see how good that this stuff floats on top of water. Yeah, that, the that other, definitely that other paint doesn't do floats that. better than the 2X. Yeah, the 2X. I think it's because it's got primer mixed with paint in it. This stuff actually floats and swirls up top. All right, so, so anybody doing it should probably not get 2X, right? right? Yeah, we've got good black and good white, looks like, and, red, and blue. Okay. Show this turns out here. But the cup is white, so. You should probably be wearing a mask. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, those two. Yeah, these colors work well, it looks like. I'm trying to mix it up a little bit. Let me make it swirly. All right. Then you got your cup that was dipped once. You're going to dip it again. Okay. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's better. Oh, that looks good, yeah. yeah. That's just, that looks real good there. Oh, that looks really good. So we'll do it a second wow. time. Wow. Yeah. All right, so leave that way and side then. There? What about this side here? Um, do you want to dip it, Should try it, dip it one more just time? Just a side. Okay, go. Let's see what happens. Did it get gloppy or anything? No, it's supposed to go So over. it's okay to do a second dip like that? I wouldn't dip the whole thing again then. Okay. All right, so that's that? good. Okay. Are you gonna put some, something over top of that there? Um, actually, that looks, doesn't look terrible, actually. Yeah, that looks good, right? Yeah. All right, so. Um, set it in the cup and put Yeah, set it, and then we'll do the. Um, the yeah, actually. All right, so just piece of cardboard over the water to take out the old paint. All right, so no using the 2X paint because it doesn't work well. It sinks to the bottom. 2X. All right, so don't use that one. Paint primer mix. No good. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, right? I should probably take this glove off. Look at this cute little pumpkin. <laughs> He's so sweet. <laughs> yes, he is. All right, ready? I'm starting to get Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, really, the, the white didn't do too well either. I think it's about, I think you should stick with this crow on. Do you think the white, though, was because it was on a white cup? No, the white didn't float like this stuff did. Oh, so, I yeah. see. Yeah, do, you have, do you have any white in, there, in this crow on your room? Mm-mm. Okay. I don't. The gray? No. I have chalk paint and I have that in red. You want to mix red, blue, and black? They go together. Or not? We can. You want to try that? Yeah, I'm just saying because this, this stuff floats nice. Okay. Yeah. Here, let me go get the red. All right. How about, look, I have orange. Um, well, you got orange, blue, and black. Yeah, I think I, think I like orange better orange, then. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Then red. Red's just not really my favorite. Red's a, that's a boy color too. Red's a boy color? Mm -hmm. Well, it's, they're gonna be boy cups. You can do, you could do red. Well, neither one, red, orange is I mean, orange is good, right? Yeah. Okay. Which, which, does orange go with blue, though, is a question. I know red does. I think orange goes with blue. Yeah, yeah. Here, spray the two together on the table and on the thing. Check, check. You guys are gonna be orange if you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, buddy. Don't make rusty orange. Yeah. Let's see. He kind of already is. Oh, well, that's true. He is. He is. He is. His little Brendo. Okay, so here's that. Now put the red on that red. side. Let's see which one would like yeah. better. Yeah. Oh, right up and go, yeah. Rusty. You stronger than Scott. He had to. Use something to open it. A guest appearance by Rusty? Mm hmm. Because Rusty's the cutest. Probably the red, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. You win. He wins. Ho, 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 ho. I love you. All right. So. All right. Blue, black, and red. All right. Blue, black, and red. All right. Mm hmm. Okay. That's what's good. 
And then we're gonna do this one on a cup that's painted like ombre blue colors. Yeah. The other cup is white. Black's the best. Well, that paint itself is yeah, just it's really. Is this like a craft paint or regular paint? Oh, um, it's regular. I just, you know, it's it, it's just small because it's those little small shots, mm -hmm. and they were like on clearance, that's why I got them. Because I really don't think that they're a very good value if you're not um, if you're buying them to use all the time, because they're like three something for that little thing but I got them on clearance they were like 70 cents you think oh yeah that looks good but I feel like this side's good here the red's not sticking as good over there it is here though yeah I feel like the red's not like stuck as well but you know what though do you think that it oh that looks good actually you know what that looks like you're making a spider-man cup oh yeah that's right <laughs> right yeah. doesn't it yeah because the tape's gonna come off so that, that, oh yeah yeah that's true that, no that, i actually think that's good yeah because once you smooth it out well and also because it's like wet yeah right i think i like it Oh, yeah, actually, that's... you can see the colors underneath here. It actually looks pretty good, too. Oh, yeah, that does look good, actually. Once it dries and all the excess is gone. That looks good. And this tape's coming off, anyway. So, yeah. It does. It looks like a Spider-Man cut. Could be. Yeah, you can put a spider in there. <laughs> that little logo. That looks that's... good. It actually looks good with the color underneath there. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I like it. All right. All right. Good Blue job. Blue black are the best, though, I think. As far as yeah. coloring. But I think, though, that we could, it's just out of the colors we have, um, maybe I'll get, like, some brighter colors, mm -hmm. and we'll try it again to make, like, a more girl color, like a like some pinks and purples and see how it works. Flamboyant color? Yeah, like something a little yeah, bit, color. yeah, like... Flamboyant. Flamboyant. That's a good word. Flamboyant's a good word. I like flamboyant. Flamboyant's, like, bright and happy. Yeah. Those are boy colors. Rusty, ready? Continue. Bottoms are not good. That was. Rusty, ready? Continue. Oh, oh yeah, those. Those did turn. Don't you looking at over there? Oh, he found the kitty door. The kitty's Look, in there. The, the cat was head poking out. Oh, was the cat poking his head? Yeah, yeah. Don't eat that. Yeah, it'll look good once you see like it's all peeled off. Cat food. I know. Well, cat food's got a lot of ash in it, from what I understand, right? Really? Yeah, well, that's what I... Not good, I, not good cat food, does it? Oh, but I thought it did just because cats needed it. Oh, no, I don't know, but I never saw it. Like when you wet sand it, because when the water's on there, it looks just like a little when you put your epoxy on it. So after it dries, we'll wet sand it? Yeah. I gave you some 400, I think, some wet sand paper. It's not a wet sand. In the box up there. Well, I think I used that 1200. Is that not no, that's fine. a ton? Yeah, you start off with like the 400, then after you get the, get it, start getting it smooth, then go to the 1200. So, whatever you got the next highest up on this. So, like 400, 800, 1200. I think it gave you a pretty good assortment. So, I like these colors. I think I'd like to. Um, do it again with like some brighter colors yeah. and see how that turns out. Yeah. So, because now we know that the darker colors are red. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the black and blue is clear. The Spider Man should be alright once you get done with it. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of the, the bubbles are just the water coming out of it. Yeah, I see that. Going away. After it's dry, we'll sand it. Yeah. So we just got like the brunt of the water off of it. We'll let them dry. Then we'll come back and wet sand them and see how they look. Right? Yep. Okay. All right. So first show them how the cups turned out. Go that way a little bit. With, no, no. This way with it. There you go. Perfect. Or you can the camera. 
Listen, smarty pants. You can't this way, not you'd be like right here. <laughs> Listen, smarty pants. I've got this thing to sit up, okay? All right. So it turned out really nice. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot. Okay, and show them the other one. Spider Man. Spider Man, yeah. So Spider Man looks good. So Scott has another way he wants to try it that we're gonna do it tomorrow. So right now what he wants to do is wet. He's gonna, so you're gonna start out with. Yeah, just hit real quick to get the heavy stuff off. Just hit it real quick. Get the stuff off. Just to get the little bumps off. So now, scotch right. Scotch right. Yeah. Okay. Or you can use a scrub pad in the kitchen. And same, it's the same as two hundred grit sandpaper. So what are you doing? Just roughing it up. Just, just roughing it started. up. Yeah. Okay. If it's too bumpy. You can't use a wet, fine sandpaper on it. Oh, I see. Or load up. And that'll show a little bit there. Heavy spots here. If you wet sand, I'll take that off. Gotcha. You're using like real fine grit sandpaper. Push it in your box. I need some sandpaper right there. These? Oh, what, what is it? Uh, these get, are like 1200. Don't you have like 400 there or something like that? Um, let me see. Uh, I think I gave you like I'm sure I do. Or I have this huge box of um, sandpaper that this super awesome guy gave me. That's a thousand. Alright, so there should be like two different steps. Like 400, 600, 800, 1,000, something like that. 320. Yeah, I can start with that. 320? Yeah, and then uh, you have some 400 or something like that. Okay. The black stuff is the, is the stuff I gave you for wet sand. Yes. So, so there's the 320. Yeah, this is two. Okay. Oh, here's... What's that? 600. Perfect. Okay, and then the 1200, so that's good. Yeah, that's really good. All right. I'll bring another assortment home for sizes again. All right, so. So put it in the water. Mm -hmm. so, so what does the water do? Ooh, no problem. What's the problem? This paint didn't dry. Remember that blue I was telling you about, the 2X blue? Uh -huh. It didn't dry underneath. Oh, look at that. That's why I was saying. I had the same problem with the last time I used it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So the outside dried, but the inside didn't. Okay. Well, you know what? That's good to know because the whole reason that we're doing it was to, yeah. you know, kind of to, we're going to, have to strip these down see how it does. Okay. Well, let's try and sand up. We, we'll strip them down, but try and like wet sand up what you can just so that you can show them how to do it and the part that's dry we can see yeah. so that's the one that you said that the, paint, the 2x primer that's, that primer that's the one mixer, you can't use that. that's the one that you said that we should not to use because yeah, it. it was sinking yeah it, like the outside gets hard and it's still wet paint underneath it okay so, so once i shave out the outside a little bit it, it's all wet now so i just had the same problem my drones so you know i had a problem previously with a cup that i painted mm -hmm. And I bet you that's why, right? Yeah, yeah that paint's, I've done nothing but bad luck with it. So for this type of thing, that's not the right no. type of paint. I think okay. it's the, mix, yeah, the, new, the primer plus paint. Good. Now it's all, it's all blobby up on there. Okay, so that's good to know. This is going to be like a three part video. <laughs> part, part one, two, three. The failure. Yeah. Oh, the, so. The recovery. I know, right? Well, we do it the, the other way I was talking about. It's going to work good. Yeah. So, well, and we didn't know about the, the primer paint yeah. either. But I think that it's good because sometimes, so, like, yeah. I feel like everybody shows only, like, great things happening. Oh, yeah. And it messes people up because they don't get to see, like, I mean. Yeah. Nobody, nobody does it great and gets it right all the time. 
So. I think it's, it's also, it's still cold out too, so I think the paint doesn't react well to cold weather. Well, that's true. Because like when I, when I did, when I painted the red out, out there doing it last time, it was cold out also, I'm not getting problems. Get that off though. Might be able to save this. Oh, yeah, I see. The nice thing is we can always strip it, though, if we're not happy with it, right? Yeah, I got a feeling the new way is going to be awesome. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. So we'll make a video on that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We'll do that tomorrow. I see what kind of paint I got to work. I got a whole paint shop at work, so. Yeah. I see if we got some oranges or something like that there. Well, and I have a lot of good colors. You know what? For like regular paint, not, not spray paint. Yeah, not spray paint, regular. Yeah. But... So, and I'd like to maybe even use some regular paint because like when you watch everybody do it, you get the feeling that you should um, only use spray paint. Yeah. I think it probably be better without it. The what? I think it might be better without it, with regular paint instead of spray paint. Okay. And I mean, and you can always take a, a paint stick and like twirl it too in right. the water. Well, the thing with spray paint is, is with the aerosol in there, it's, it's actually starting to dry it right wherever you're spraying it, you know what I mean? I see. So what it's not staying wet. Yeah, it's not, yeah. Not, it doesn't stay thick and together. I see. It uh, atomizes it or something like that. It's going. Oh, yeah. Get all that wet glue off. Some of it dried, though. Some of it didn't. I'm not going to save this one. All right. Well, let's see what happens when you yeah. sand it down. Just here. Oh, oh my gosh. I almost had a heart attack. No, no. That's the... I'm going to move you too fast. take you off of okay now you're on regular so say it again so it's, stainless steel has a grain to it and it does everything that, as long as you go with the grain and you're it, you won't you won't hurt it it'll always look the same if you do this with it against the grain it'll show lines and scuffs in it okay so if you need to sand paint off of it off of it or anything like that like in this case make sure you go with the grain which is this way and you can't tell you'll never be able to tell the difference to the grain is it but if you go this way it'll show lines everywhere you sand it and it look not good. Okay, I got you. Same thing with your kitchen, how you eat. Know, always go this way. You can look at it and see the grain in it. It's like little tiny lines going, like it's brushed that way, all the way around. Yeah. So, you can do that all day long and save the paint up there and get out of it. Love you got the train. Yeah. See? Mm -hmm. I can't believe how smooth that is. So I, I think that even though that spot was wet, I think it's gonna be fine. It's gonna make it's gonna make a good spider hand cup. Alright, I'm gonna put you back on fast mode. Check it out. When you do the other. Oh, that is so cool. Oh yeah, that's gonna be awesome with the Spider-Man decals on it. That's why I like wet sand because you get feathers in the edges too, all the little lines and stuff like that. So it's uh, got sharp edges like that with the colors. The feathers right? The yeah, for sure. I see that. Oh, that's very cool. Okay, now I'm gonna put you on fast mode while you're doing. All right, so these things look so good. I am really impressed. So you're definitely, definitely good at that. I can't believe, it's like glass. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Look at that.
So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to clean them. I'm going to go ahead and put on the decals, put on a layer of epoxy, and that way I can, before I put the um, video out, I'll have them all done, yeah. and I can just show them completely done. It's the one that I thought was going to be the, the worst turned out the smoothest, I think. I know. It's like perfectly, like it's metal. Yeah, and it's going to be so good with those decals. It's all going to blend in so well. Amen. Yeah, and then we're... And then you have another way that you want to try it. We're going to try it with non-spray paint, with like regular paint. Yep. Use some different colors yep. and try it a little bit different. So I'll finish these up and then tomorrow we'll start the other one yeah, to show everybody. Good. All right. Yep. All right, cool. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. Yep. Love you. Love you too.